it's me sydney welcome back to planet sid today we are going to be doing a bat girl glow up we are going to be doing mental and a physical glow up as well so if you guys are interested in that stay tuned also be sure to check out my instagram at underscore planet sid and my business page main character the label and my makeup brand at box office beauty so today we're just going to be doing a mental and physical glow up and this is the end result so if you guys want to see how i did my mental glow up, we are going to be doing some wellness some self-care i got me my little outfit on from main character the label my brand also did my nails as well oh my god also did my nails as well and then my hair and my makeup of course so if you guys are interested in that just stay tuned <sighs> hey bitches so we are doing our mental glow up i just woke up it's kind of late it's like 10 30. i have to go pick up some groceries and then my wig is downstairs it got delivered so i'm gonna pick that up and then i think i'm gonna vacuum out my car because my car is pretty dirty and i don't like my car is dirty and i'm going to leo move I'm gonna finish cleaning my room. My room is basically clean, but I have to do my laundry. And yeah, I'm just about to brush my teeth and shit and get ready to go pick up my groceries and my wig. I also have to go to the store to get some bleach so I can bleach the nights my wig. Oh my god, ah! So the first part of my mental health glow up, my affirmations. This is right outside my door. So before I leave, I always say my affirmations. So that's what we're gonna do. So this is the first part of my mental glow up i think it's important well it's important for me to have a clean area since i do create here in my apartment as far as like sewing and like doing everything for my business so i need to make sure that my area is clean and, like... and there goes leo once again just taking his nose and stuff that he shouldn't <laughs> journal um daily and i read my psalms and my bible and i pray but i'm um, usually when i journal it's a manifestation journal you can just get any old regular plain um notebook i got that from dollar tree and i do it every day before i go to sleep because apparently when you wake up and right before you go to sleep that's like when your subconscious mind is most open 
like it's more receptive to receiving new thoughts and new beliefs and everything so if you're trying to manifest and do some changes in your life then you should do it like either when you first wake up and or after and or um before you go to bed so yeah, usually in my journal i just do it right before i go to bed um i just write down the things in the life that i want as if i already have it so thank you guys so much um i just went into my beautiful warehouse and i'm in my beautiful apartment with this in this in this amazing city with this beautiful view my collection sold out today um i reached 500,000 subscribers um shit like that so and that's what i'm about to do so i'm about to journal and i do this every single day it's good and then i pray um and usually when i pray that's actually wild as hell because i used to not pray at all this is still a very relatively in relation to everything else it is a new practice that i'm doing <laughs> per se um but i will um usually how i pray i started doing this probably about six months ago like actually like praying praying and being intentional about my prayers and doing it consistently and i have seen a change just in like my mind and in my life and just i just have a better at a um, better attitude of gratitude so how i pray because i feel like this could probably help somebody if you're into that um you don't have to take this but how i pray first thing that i want to do <laughs> i'm sound like i'm about to start praying now but the first thing that i do when i start praying is i think it's important to give thanks to god for what you already have so i always say like god like i'm so thankful and i'm so grateful to have a roof over my head i'm thankful to have a means of transportation i'm thankful to have food i'm thankful for my cat who keeps me company i'm thankful that whatever today was i made it through i'm thankful to have lived another day just feel like that whatever you're grateful for it can be the, the small things or this overall I'm thankful for my good health. I'm thankful for what I do have in my bank account. I'm thankful for my 12 subscribers. And then I ask that God continue to protect me physically, spiritually, mentally, and emotionally. And to protect my loved ones. Um, and I just ask that God... Usually, um, I don't want to go too into detail because my prayers are pretty personal. But I'll ask... After giving thanks, I ask him to continue to protect me. And then I'll ask him to, you know, bless my businesses and to align me with the right people and opportunities. And to continue to allow me to have trust in him and in his power and in his plan for my life. I ask that he continue to align me and order my steps down the path towards me being a full-time and creative and having financial abundance and financial freedom and the freedom of self-employment. Um, I ask that he continue to like improve the relationship that I have with myself and like having genuine deep confidence and self-esteem, high self-esteem and always authentically showing up as myself. I ask he continue to align me with the community who is for me and just other stuff, but you can take that and apply that to whatever you want. So if there's a certain area of your life that you want growth or prosperity or progression or if you just need help, just ask God to order your steps. Um, but yeah, that's what I do. And you don't have to do that. I'm not trying to push my religion on anybody or anything, but that's what I do. And it has made a difference for me in my life. This is from somebody I, I never used to pray. I never, I never used to pray. And I'm still learning to trust God since we're in a new moon. Um, well, the new moon was it, like technically yesterday, but we just started this new cycle, this new moon. And like now is the perfect time to manifest, especially since the new moon is in Pisces. You know, that's the sign of fucking delusion. So if there's a time to manifest and be delusional, I don't care how outlandish you think that shit is. If you want $50,000, I don't fucking know. Whatever the hell you want. If you want a new car, if you just want total change do that shit so make sure to be extra delusional guys that's how you get what you want Hey guys, 
that is the end of the video if you guys liked it then be sure to comment down below what you guys want to see next and thank you guys so much for sticking around and again this hair is tanache hair it's 30 inches it's the water wave and the 13 by 4 lace front and um, my nails I did them myself you guys will see a video on these nails um it might either already be out or maybe coming out after this I don't know but and this top is from my clothing brand main character the label is actually a bikini so it's a matching bottom as well and this is from my outdoors collection so if you guys are interested in that this check that out down below and my makeup is from my makeup brand box office beauty so yeah i'm officially that girl now i was always i was that girl before this when i was looking busted but i'm even more that girl now so thank you guys so much if you guys stayed to the end just be sure to follow me on all my platforms at underscore plain it's it and i hope you guys feel safe and seen wherever you are and i hope you guys are finding joy and fulfillment on your journey of self-expression. Until next time.